Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation who's been I'm on today and the uh, other 29 uh, Aboriginal um, people in the, in the Sydney region, our tribe, and my own country, which is Camilla Roy. I always get teary when I talk about home. But anyway, I'm here to uh, give whatever I can back to community. I've been out there for over the past 50 years trying to uh, promote what we got and it's finally happening for me in Sydney and it has been for a while and to share our culture and our foods with the young people that I get involved with in and around the city, um, getting them prepared to go out to work as well. So what I've done is um, because I've been developing recipes myself over the years, I thought I'd try the flowers uh, the, and the seeds that I received from you guys up there and come up with the recipe. And I've already tested these recipes out on my colleagues here at work at NCIE and they love what I made. So the, rain, uh, the seeds that I used is the pigweed seed and I made muffins. So you can, this is very simple. Um, I just mixed it with some um, organic um, Stop raising flour, nothing really flash, and put the seeds in, and it, it turned out. And the muffins are so beautiful, and it's a very simple recipe. Um, and everybody in my colleagues said they loved the muffins with the pigweed seed. Um, my husband said he loved the muffins because he's my first port of call. I did it at home, um, and the flour is um, the grass flour, which is really fine but if you mix it with self raising flour or plain flour and a little bit of baking powder it works the same. I've been using seeds and uh, the lemon myrtle uh, for many years now but I know with the flour it's uh, a fine flour at the moment but it worked. I cooked some johnny cakes as well. I wanted to try it. I didn't have an open fire but I did it in my electric fry pan and it worked so you can do that. Um, we're fortunate enough today to make up some scones with the lemon myrtle, which is a bush as well. So it's a native plant, so you could grow that in your own backyard. So some of these seeds are now out there that you can grow them and what you're doing with the grass and the grains up there, and it's not going to take too long to put it out there. With the flower also, the grass flower, I made up some damper and everybody loved it. So, and that was just the grass flower, um, organic self-raising flower. And um, yeah, everybody loved the taste and the flavor. And with this seed here, the dong uh, on grass, that could go in a biscuit or that can go in any, of, I would say, um, bread. So you can use the flowers for almost any of these grains here from the, that the flowers made out of and use it in your own cooking. And it's, I found it easy to work with. It's a little bit fine, but you'll get the consistency of it and mix it up. Um, but it looks great. It tastes great. And I was honoured to be a part of it. And you can also make bread out of it. So it's up to you. The uh, pigweed seeds to me they were very similar to poppy seeds but they do have a flavor of their own and it tasted a little bit salty to me uh, not a lot of salt but it's crunchy it's much crunchier than the poppy seeds so I reckon that'll be a seller <laughs> so when you take it to market but this is what it's all about and it's time to get it out there now in a big way. So thank you so much for having me and sharing your time with me. And we'll catch up soon. May the spirits of our land stay with you and guide you on your next journey. Thank you.